children are vulnerable because they don't know that they've been scammed. They might not know until seven, eight, nine years later. Parents' best wishes can create long-lasting pain for their children this holiday. With the hopes of getting personalized letters from Santa, parents are actually giving their children's personal information to scammers. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall has our story. The Christmas season can be magical for kids, and some parents want to make it as memorable as possible. And we really want them to, to really feel that kind of magicalness that comes with celebrating the holidays. People just naturally think of, of course, we'd want Santa to talk to our kids and call our kids or grandkids by their first names. And why wouldn't we provide them their address? But a new Santa scam takes advantage of those feelings. Scammers promise to send personalized letters to children from Santa. But what they really want is enough information to steal your child's identity. Even with just a simple address, first and last name and maybe middle initial, and all of a sudden you've got all kinds of nefarious activity that could occur. Child identity theft is on the rise because parents are unaware that this information is being used. And until that child reaches the age of 18, they don't know that their identity was stolen until they start applying for credit. When it comes to identity theft, there's no quick fix. It often takes years to untangle and unravel some of those things. And so that's the importance of being vigilant on the front end. Well-meaning people, we want to do something fun for our children. It's easy to want to to do something like this, but just take that extra step of researching before you buy. One solution is to stay local with organizations you trust. Kids who visit Fargo's Santa Village can meet Santa and his reindeer in person. No strings attached. Santa Claus really enjoys spending that quality one on one time with each kid and you're getting to know them and making that special connection with them so that they really look forward to him showing up at their house on Christmas Eve. In Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. Another idea is freezing your children's credit. A new law went into effect this year to make sure the process is easy and free for parents. You can find more information about that and Fargo Santa Village on our website, valleynewslive.com.